There is a video for a uh, quick step. I use a video for a quick step. Uh, there are two combinations that uh, I'm going to demonstrate. So first I'm going to start with this, obviously the first combination. Uh, we're going to go forward on the left foot. We're going to go up, up for a chasse and then we'll replace. Left foot is free. We'll take two steps back, back on the left, back on the right. We're going to lock and replace once again or release the right foot. From here we'll dance a half a natural left foot rotates slightly to the left then we have a side step and we're going to collect the feet precisely together and lowering your right foot should be free. I'll do the combination again and this time I'm going to add a little more clarity in what how where. So the left foot is free we're going to lower the body and we'll create a heel lead on the left. From here we'll brush the feet and we'll step sideways with the right foot. We'll commence with the toe. We'll try to keep our knees relatively soft. We'll collect the feet. This is your chasse. Now from here the right foot of yours will need to go slightly diagonal and back. Typically when you're exiting a chasse in ballroom dancing we don't step straight back because that becomes a very choppy and abrupt way of moving. Instead we actually create a gentle diagonal to the side. From here with the left foot we will pull through the heel. Remember that's typically how we do it. We will take a step straight back. We'll take a second step going back. This time while you're pulling you want to make sure that you're keeping your knees soft and the rise is actually happening through the ankle area. You create your locking step, just like if you were to dance a cha-cha. You replace with the right foot moving backwards. Be Remember, when you're coming from a high position, typically we roll through the toe to flat. Here is where the half a natural begins. Through the heel. Gently rotation, kind of half a moon, so to speak. Arriving on the foot, pulling through the heel, slightly diagonal, through the toe. When you're rising up, my advice is make sure you don't hyperextend your knees, keep the softness, collect your feet, lower. Throughout when you're dancing the combination, you want to make sure that the sternum is elevated. Head stays slightly to the left, don't shape the head, not for that combination and not for a uh, beginner to even intermediate uh, level of dancing. Just keep the head there, don't shape it, don't do anything too crazy with it. Um, yeah, so good size steps, uh, quick step is not that quick, head where it belongs, uh, heel leads for the first step on the way forward, um, don't miss your chasse. With the chasse, make sure that you keep softness in the knee area. When you're releasing from the chasse, specifically the right foot, it does not go sideways, it does not go backwards, it goes slightly diagonal. Every time when you're lowering, you want to make sure that you're doing it through the toe to flat. The knees do need to collect precisely when you're dancing your lock step, so this is not a lock step, so to speak, if you're kind of surpassing them, make sure you create compactness. The left side of your center, just like if you were to connect it in ballroom, does need to stay slightly more forward than rotated, so it's not a flat structure. So when you're moving throughout, if you were to be in a frame, you will typically rotate the left side. There's a constant elevation, the center needs to be lifted, head stays aligned with the spine and neck. Second combination, right foot should be free. This is a continuation of what we just did. Right foot is free, head stays to the left. We already said that we won't bother with the head. We're going to go forward on the right, forward on the left, lock from behind, replace straight forward forward on the right foot, tipo chasse, side step, replace, slightly diagonal. I'll do it once again and this time I'm going to add a little more details. 
right foot is free. We're going to take forward step on the right foot, we'll replace. We will take a forward step through the toe, we will lock from behind, and then we're going to replace straight forward toe to flat. Here is a heel lead. Once we get over the foot, we'll create a gentle rotation to the right. Toe, toe, toe flat. If you would like to end the combination, you can always go backside feet together. Depends on the preference of the teacher. You can also move forward side feet together, either way. Now, if we dance both, both combination one after other, left foot forward, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. I'll do it again from, uh, from a different angle. And slow, quick, quick, slow. Slow, quick, quick, slow. Slow, quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Slow, quick, quick, slow. Slow. Quick, quick.